Assalamu alaikum, peace be on all. In this video, I would like to discuss uh, a quote by uh, Albert Camus, who is a French uh, atheist, more of an atheist than a philosopher, in my opinion. Nonetheless, he's a philosopher. They call him a French philosopher, author, and a journalist. Okay? So, uh, in one of his quotes, he says, uh, The only way to deal with an unfree world is to become so absolutely free that your very existence is an act of rebellion from an islamic lens now this here are my thoughts about this quote islam tells us to not enslave ourselves to this reality but rather to god who is beyond the physical and the metaphysical such definition may cause the lay person or an atheist to assume we are enslaved to nothing okay and this is what Albert Camus basically trying to say be free to the to be free of it be free of this world to the point that you're basically <laughs> worshipping nothing because that's what it is at the end of the day it's an act against existence a rebellion act, a rebellious act against existence but existence in of itself is a, is a fact okay it's uh, self evident so he's saying basically what an atheist may assume from what I just said from an Islamic lens when we say we are free from the physical reality we only worship the one who transcends the physical and uh, the physical reality the conscious entity that is metaphysical or beyond the physical okay Hence, I sometimes like to compare nihilism, absurdism to this concept of Islam. You see, in my last video, I said both Islam and nihilism are at the opposite ends of the spectrum. Anything else, anything else in between is, a, is uh, superfluous and puts you in a state of loss. Okay. On the other hand, the nihilist, absurdist will eventually fall into individualism predicating their behavior on psychology not epistemology which in an islamic sense becomes beguiled by satan as he has now rejected the creator and replaced god with nothing you see now this is these type of um, so-called philosophies are dangerous okay they're absurd that's why you call yourself an absurdist in a meaningless uh, existence in a objectively meaningless and uh, purposeless reality you make your own reality and then absurdism comes to be and this is why another philosopher a french philosopher by the name of voltaire he said i'm paraphrasing uh, basically if you believe in um, if you believe in absurdities you can you will end up committing atrocities and without a doubt these type of philosophies these type of atheistic world views okay these type of atheistic world views existentialism absurdism nihilism are dangerous they can cause a person to deviate and become rebellious become rebellious become anarchist because they're all synonymous and this is why in the quote i repeat the quote again Albert Camus, he says, the only way to deal with an unfree world is to become so absolutely free that your very existence is an act of rebellion. I mean, yes, in Islam, we do, in a way, try to, try to basically connect with the transcendental being. So that in of itself, quote unquote, is an act of rebellion against the social norms was being propagated through the the secular liberal government which promotes individualism okay which uh, which basically elevates the ego massages the ego and you know, of the individual to the point that the individual thinks of himself as uh, as god becomes narcissistic egotistical arrogant and this is why I say that uh, from an Islamic lens, when you let go of all these things, 
It's an act of rebellion against the rebellious. You know what I mean? Against the rebellious himself. What Camus is saying is that your 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 act of uh, of of existence through being absolutely free, but free from what? You'll end up worshiping something eventually. And if he's trying to say worship nothing, I mean, look at him. There's an image of him. Um, I got this quote from the internet, and he has a jacket on, and the collar is uh, he f flicks it up, and he has a has a cigarette in his mouth, and he thinks he's like cool, you know, he's a rebel, you know, he's slick. In of itself, all of this from an Islamic lens, he's enslaved. He's enslaved to the social norms, to the mode, to the uh, to the fashion, to what's being in in. Uh, trend what's being propagated all these things this is not a rebellious act at all this is like uh, in the music genre you listen to some music and then you want to rebel against <laughs> against society this is what it is because no matter what you do even if you become absolutely free free of what you become you worship nothing is that it nihilism <laughs> It doesn't make sense because you'll be eventually worshiping something, and that's you'll fall into a psychological state where you worship the ego, the self. So yeah, from an Islamic lens, we worship the transcendental being. We we basically submit submit to to the divine, okay, to the commands of the divine, and this allows us to attain freedom from everything else and honestly Islam is negates all these things this liberal individualistic egotistical subjective type of um, worship because that's what it is at the end of the day it's a worship anyways that's all I have for now peace out assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh